Hey guys, finally sleeps here. Just when we thought we were going to be on a break waiting for Easter, EA throws yet another curveball with the introduction of Top Transfer, the newest two week event in FIFA Mobile. Before I get into this new event and all that it has to offer, I just want to give a shout out to the latest members at FinallySleeps.com Aaron, Damian, Julian, and Mikkel. Thanks for the support. If you haven't already checked out FinallySleeps.com, make sure you do. Uh, that's where I post all of my math breakdowns, YouTube links, uh, my best sniping filters, and humorous FIFA mobile merchandise like t-shirts and stickers and stuff. Take a few moments, check it out. Okay, back to the event. Top transfer. First things first, this is a 14-day event with 12-hour resets similar to St. Patrick's Day. The event is broken down into two forms of currency, contract points and top transfer points. You can spend the contract points on new offers every 12 hours that include players and skill boosts. The transfer points are used to work your way down a 20 point linear path toward 98 rated Vandersar Prime Icon. It's a goalkeeper. It's not auctionable, so you can't buy him. It's an inevitable pipe dream for anyone not shitting gold bricks during their morning constitutional. Seriously. My initial assessment of the event Looks like every 12 hours you'll get a free pack uh, once you complete the three events required. First pack contained 50 contract points, so I'm going to assume that it repeats with the same reward at every reset. Uh, in addition, you get the chance to play three of five optional events. The first three give a standard 200 top tier or top transfer points uh, by default. Those three can each be played only once. Uh, there's a skill game, you can watch a commercial, and play a full match against a featured team. Those are the three easy ones, and you walk away with 600 top transfer points. The other two options can each also be played once each and offer a chance at more top transfer points if you have the skill to play it. These two are versus and head-to-head, -head, but you have to use a max 95 rated team. A win gets you 260 top transfer points, tie gets you 200 and a loss gets you 140. The only saving grace here is the 95 max team requirement which means you have a better chance at coming out ahead than you do taking a hit unlike what we saw during St. Patrick's Day. But don't get too excited. Even if you win both the versus and the head to head those extra 120 top transfer points every reset aren't going to do much in the end uh, without spending an unreasonable amount of gems. Before we run the numbers over at the rewards panel, you can also watch two videos every reset for a total of 10 more contract points. Okay, this breaks everything down to 60 contract points and somewhere between 480 and 720 top transfer points every 12 hours for 14 days. Okay, now the 480 comes from there are only two events that give more than. 200. It's the versus in head to head. If you lose both of those, 40 and 140. So there's 280. And then you'll have to do one of the default nodes across the top and walk away with 200. So 200, 140, 140, 480. If you do great and you win both the versus in the head to head and you do one of the nodes across the top, you end up with 720. Okay, now that all together includes. 1,680 contract points over the 14 days and anywhere from 13,440 to 20,160 top transfer points in total. That's just playing the event and either losing all of your verses in head to head or winning all of your verses in head to head. With the contract points, you can trade them in for boost or players and I have that schedule and it's part of this video I'll show you that in a minute the deals swap out every 12 hours and yes they do repeat so if you see a player at the beginning of the program that you don't have enough contract points and you really want them he is coming back personally for this I'm not planning on using these contract points on anything but boost and it's just the boost that I need for my starting 11 I'm not messing with the players uh, I can buy any of them in the store and nobody really seems that important. 
the boost will do me more good right now and once you see what's possible you'll understand why the top transfer points are what you use to work your way down the linear path of rewards which includes boosts coin xp contract points and players just counting it out if you opt to play the versus and head-to-head -head matches and you lose every single one for every single reset over all 14 days you'll still be able to make it to offer 12 just shy of offer 13 where you secure a 95 rated player that's if you lose every single match so don't do that if you feel like you're gonna lose more than half the matches just run the three default nodes across the top and walk away with 600 every day well every reset 1200 every day if you go the easy route and just grab all the guaranteed 200 top transfer points every reset you'll end up with 16,800 top transfer points which is a hundred more than is required to make it all the way to offer 14 the 2 million coins plus you'll end up with a 95 rated player along the way as well if you're the greatest of all time and win every single versus and head-to-head -head every reset for all 28 resets you'll end up with a total of 20,160 top transfer points which isn't even enough to get you to the 15th offer without opening a gem pack or grabbing the missing 120 top transfer points along the way. Offer 15 is only an elite or better player. It's, it's hardly worth spending the gems on. And that's only if you win everything for the next two weeks. Looking at the numbers like this, it just kills the event. It's another linear path that's going to yield a bunch of the same for everyone. The players will be worth very little because we're all getting the same thing. Even with the choice of three players when you get to the, those nodes, the other two, there's so many people that are going to pick one of the three that the prices are just not going to be worth much. There are no quests and the packs in the store are a bit expensive for what they are. Uh, there's a limited time $4.99 pack that just gives you an elite player. 600 transfer points and 50 contracts. It's basically five bucks for an extra reset. Don't waste your money. The basic 2500 gem pack gives you 300 to 800 top transfer points with the odds based on the displayed pack probability ending up averaging them out right at exactly 480 top transfer points per pack. So if you open multiple packs, that's probably where you're gonna end up uh, averaging about 480 a piece. Because the event is already busted and there's zero reason to open any gem packs, zero reason, like goose egg, don't open any gem packs. Let's just clear it up and look at what it would take to get to the 97 rated players that offer 17. Let's even go as far as to say you play versus in head to head every single reset. So that's two per reset, there are 28 resets. You win all 56 of those matches. For the max 260 top transfer points are possible for each one you're still going to end up 9120 top transfer points short if the gem packs are averaging 480 points each you only need to buy about 19 of them i mean that's 47,500 gems for a 97 rated player if you never miss a reset and you won every possible match for two weeks 47,500 gems. Want that prime icon, Vandersar? You'll be uh, 33,120 top transfer points short. At 480 points per gem pack, that's a measly 69 gem packs. At 2,500 a pop, that's simply 172,500 gems. No big deal. These events are kind of like going car shopping to a dealer that sells Hondas and Bugattis on the same lot. It's exciting pulling in until you see the price tag on the Adventador and realize you're going home with a used Pontiac Aztec. The only vehicle ever made that looks like a garbage truck and a minivan got it on and spit out quite arguably the ugliest worst design car of all time. And I say that knowing that Pintos used to explode when they got rear-ended. Anyway, ignore the shiny players and focus on the chance to rack up XP, coins, and boost them. Along with a few players, you'll be able to sell worst case or hold on to until SBCs show up, if they ever show up.
when they show up. When they show up. If you go the easy route and just grab 600 top transfer points at each reset to safely get to offer 14 because you're not spending any gems, you're going to end up with 125 common boost, 300 rare boost, 325 epic boost, 275 more contract points, 2,300,000 coins, 100,000 XP, and 80 elite, and 88 elite, a 91 master, and a 95 master. All in all, those are great rewards for very little work, but since everyone will be getting the same stuff, it just advances the game forward. It's nothing more. The contract points are where the real options come into play. Every reset, you'll have the chance to score a top transfer player or two different boosts. The boosts are always 50 contract points each, and you can grab each one up to three times. Look at what you need and grab what you can when you can. Here's the complete breakdown of what's going to be offered and when. Some of the players are completely out of reach in the first few days, but if you hold on to your contract points, every player is possible. Before it's all said and done, with the 60 you get each reset and the 275 you'll get from the event, you're going to end up with a grand total of 1,955 contract points. Personally, the boost is what is making this a great event for me. Pay attention to the breakdown and grab what you need when you can. Not a spectacular event, but you can definitely make the most of it if you're intelligent, you don't waste any gems, and you pay attention to the contract offers every 12 hours. That's it. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, I do read all the comments. Please check out FinallySleeps.com for math breakdowns, event news, sniping filters, merchandise, and more. You may want to consider becoming a member. Members get all kinds of perks that range from weekly FIFA mobile updates and members-only sniping filters to shout-outs and exclusive mer merchandise. Top transfers. It is what it is. Grab your boost and save your gems for Easter. Good luck. As long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos. It's time for a refill.